grid? Well, my answer would be anybody really knows exactly how this is going to play out. I confidently predict there'll be more solar generation in deserts than there's going to be in the rooftops in cloudy places. And, and there's a good reason for that. And Berkshire's big operations, as you, in solar are in what amounts to desert. And, uh, and we get very favorable terms and incentives. And, and uh, I think Berkshire's going to do fine in, in, in solar. Uh, I am skeptical myself about trying to run the utilities of the world from a bunch of little tiny rooftops. I suspect there's some twaddle in that and some fancy salesmanship in that uh, arena. And of course, the people who did it early uh, were foolish because the price came down rapidly thereafter. So put me down as not totally charmed by rooftops in cloudy areas. Uh, we have Greg Abel here from Mid-American Energy. Uh, if we can direct a spotlight down there, uh, Greg can probably speak to this with a whole lot more intelligence than Charlie yeah. and I. I noticed, yeah, that, I, I noticed that Jonathan left, left me out of the thing entirely when he went, wanted to get an intelligent answer, but I'm not taking any offense at that. Uh, Greg? You're absolutely right. We're seeing, when it comes to rooftop solar, a decline in the total cost of installing them. At the same time, when you compare it to a, a regional tariff or a specific tariff in most of those states, the utility is extremely still competitive. And I would highlight that as you see more rooftops coming on, you'll see a restructuring of the tariffs. But at the same time, there's a lot of protection for the utility. So in the regions we're um, supplying power, we will see some introduction of solar, but we're absolutely comfortable. Our systems for the long term are are valuable both to our customers and to our to our shareholders, the Berkshire Herald, Berkshire shareholders for the long term. Bill Gross made recent comments.